welcome to today's daily charge, the Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. December 5, 2024. December 5, 2024. And we're looking at the topic, living together as genuine brethren. This is a call to all believers in Christ that we must live together as true brothers and sisters in the Lord. May the Lord give us grace to do so. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Father, thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because, Lord, what can we become and who can we be if it is not with you in you and by you and through you? Daddy, we are so grateful. We are asking that you increase in us as we decrease in ourselves. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as we look into this topic, the grace and power to live together as true, genuine brothers and sisters, even as you have ordained, Lord, so give to us in the name of Jesus. Make our hearts right and help us to love others genuinely. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Here's your welcome once again. As we look at today's devotional, living together as genuine brethren. Our memory verses from 2 Corinthians 13, 11. 2 Corinthians 13, 11 says, Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. This is the message of Apostle Paul to the brethren. Each time when he comes, he will welcome them and greet them with the peace and the love of God. Even at his departure, he will always cheer them up and still, uh, you know, leave them in the hand of God and, of course, pray for them that the peace of God will be with them. A genuine and sincere brothers indeed. Motivational quote says, lie may go on for 20 years, but one day the truth will catch up with it. What is it saying? If you are in the garden of brethren and you are being unfaithful, deceptive, and false, you know, you entertain falsehood. No matter how long you pretend, one day the truth is going to come out. I pray in Jesus' name. The heart of sincerity the Lord will give to us in the name of Jesus. And prophetically, I pray for you today that you receive the grace to always say the truth, do the truth, act the truth, live the truth, and put the devil to shame. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Living together as genuine brethren. So it means that there are fake brethren. May the Lord expose them. May the Lord give them a change of heart. And if they refuse, of course, you know God. It doesn't take anything lightly. There's going to be judgment thereafter. We pray that the, God, the Lord God will help them to change in the name of Jesus. I have fire scripture in the book of Acts chapter 4, verses 31 to 37. Acts 4, 31 to 37. And the Bible said, And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things common. And with great power, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked far as for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold. Verse 35. And laid them at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man as he had need. I'll stop here. But you see, when he got to Acts chapter 5, his story followed. 
Acts chapter 5, verse 1. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price, his wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? Why is it remained? Was it not thy own? And after it was sold, was it not in thy own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto me, but unto God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost, and great fear came on all them that had this thing. Verse 7. And it was about the space of three hours after, when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Peter answered, unto her, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. And she said, yea, for so much. Verse 10, then fell she down straight away at his feet and yielded up the ghost. And the young man came in and found her dead and carrying her forth, hurried her, buried her by her husband. This is Ananias and Sapphira, the line that our motivational quote spoke about. The early church lived a communal life. They were together in one, one, one faith, one Lord, one mind, one purpose. As we read in Acts chapter 4, they had their possessions in common. And nobody lacked anything. Even those who had so much, they brought it. And so that it was shared, shared with even those who do not have enough. And the Bible just told us as we read that nobody suffered any need because they were all adequately provided for. They lacked nothing. But unfortunately, Satan crept into the mind of some of the brethren. Fake you call them, error you might call it. But the truth was, Ananias and Sapphira, a couple, fell into the hand of the enemy. They fell to the gimmicks of the devil. They cheated on their fellow brethren. They sold their land. They kept back a portion of the proceed and brought the rest to the brethren. That is falsehood, deception. That is a brother or brothers, a, a, a couple, brethren, that were not genuine. And even Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter noticed this. And immediately called them. Why did you keep it back? Why are you doing this? The man refused to tell the truth. He lied to the Holy Ghost. And you know, the Bible said we should not give the Holy Ghost. And what was the, uh, the end of it? He fell down and he died. His wife came in shortly. And Peter still asked him, ask her. That means there was grace for her to tell the truth. Oh no, she did not. And Peter, Apostle Peter said, those who carried the feet of those who carried your husband just went away now. And she too fell down and died. Beloved, that's the only thing that can break the unity and the peaceful living together of brethren, our genuine, is the power of the enemy, the power of Satan. It is that formidable for, for, force that can break through the ranks and make brethren to cheat on one another or to be pretentious. But see, we can do away with deception and falsehood. We can decide not to live, to behave like Ananias and Sapphira. We can decide to be committed, devoted, loving, caring, having the, you know, the spirit of unity and oneness that keep brethren together in one faith. I pray the Lord will give it to us in the name of Jesus. We take a short break. We come back to continue with this message. God bless you. Stay connected. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2024, Volume 9, available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9, a life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. 
The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life Changing Encounter with a God that Answered by Fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You're welcome back to today's daily chat with Mountain Top Daily Devotional. And today, December 5, 2024, we've been talking on living together as genuine brethren. I want to read from the Bible. I'm reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 133. It said, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the hair that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garment, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even for life forevermore. Beloved of God, this is the word of the Lord. It is how pleasant and good, how sweet is it for brethren to live together in unity. These are the word of God. Beloved, we are bringing this out so that we will know the mind of God concerning brethren living together, genuinely, sincerely, in love, in unity, in oneness, as children of God. This is what the Lord is asking from us. And this is what we should do. So if you don't love your brother, you are not a child of God. That is what 1 John 3 10 is telling us. Do you love your brother? Do you dwell in righteousness? Then you are a child of God and not a child of Satan. Let me also read 1 John 3, the same 1 John chapter 3, verse 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. May we not abide in death in the name of Jesus. Why did he say so? How can you be in the church of God? In the, in the assembly of beloved. When the Bible says we should not forsake the assembly of brethren. Why should you fellowship together with others? And yet you live in lying, deception, falsehood. This is not of God. This is Satan. Satan's agenda and Satan's work. We shall not be victim of this in the name of Jesus Christ. What the Lord wants us to do. And to live by is the example that the early church, the apostles, gave us. Don't forget, even in the book of Acts chapter 1, when they gathered together in the upper room, they were with one mind. They were praying together, sharing the word, and even lived their life in a communal way, loving and caring for one another. It's possible they offended one another, yeah, because they are humans, and they have to forgive themselves so that they can foster a hand. And go forth. So there was joy of the Lord. There was peace with them. No wonder on the day of Pentecost, they gathered and they prayed again, and the Holy Ghost came down. Beloved, the Holy Ghost is not going to come down into an assembly of brethren who are not faithful to one another, who are not living together genuinely, who are not with one mind. The Lord is calling all of us back to the place of unity and oneness. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. We've read so many scriptures. Psalm 133, don't forget. But we said it's pleasant, it's sweet for brethren to live together. He told us in Ephesians 4.32, we should forgive one another. Even as God, through, for the sake of Christ, forgave us. We should be loving and tender-hearted. We also read Romans 12.10. And then the message of 1 John chapter 3, verses 10 and 14, where evil very striking. If you don't love your fellow brother, then it's like a judgment unto death. Why should we? We saw Ananias and Sapphira. This couple were just unfaithful. They lied 
to, to the Holy Ghost, thinking that they were lying to men. And Peter made them to know, this is your lie, this is your deception. It's not just to man, but to, the, to God himself. And they, there was instant judgment. Both fell down and died. I pray, before we face the wrath of God, before anybody face the wrath of God, our hearts shall be crucified. And we'll, just, we'll do the right thing by loving our brethren faithfully. Today's world has gone so materialistic that genuine fellowship is becoming a strange thing among brethren. And I tell you, beloved, except we are together, it will weaken the church. The oneness and the unity that we need it strengthens us as a church, as a body. God is coming to take his beloved home. We're going to become the church triumphant. Why then, even here on earth, can we not come together and do the needful and then glorify God? But I ask a question. Are you like Ananias and Sapphira? Are you sincere in your dealings with God and with fellow men? Or are you deceptive in any way? You need to check your heart here. Do you collaborate with your spouse or with any other brethren to perpetrate evil? I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not be a follower of evil, of those who do evil, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bible says in Philippians 2, 5, that let this mind be in you as it is in Christ Jesus. If the mind of Christ is in you, beloved brother and sister, you will not be deceptive. You will not perpetrate evil undercover in the midst of brethren. You will love your fellow brothers. You will live among them and share with them. You may not come from the same family or from the same house. Whether you're in church or out of church, you will be faithful to God and faithful to fellow believers. So you must make up your mind this day, beloved that you will love others even as Christ loves us. You will share with others the love of God. You will extend your hand of fellowship. You will be generous. You will be hospitable. You will be joyful. And wherever you are in the midst of brethren, there will be peace. You will not be one of those who will bring strife or cause division among brethren. Rather, you will do things that will glorify the name of the Lord. This is what the Lord is asking us to do. God wants us to love as He loves us. Don't forget the golden rule. Even the Bible says the first commandment is that you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind. And this, He said the second one is like it. You love your fellow brother like yourself. Many times Jesus told, taught his disciples, you want to go before the altar of God to pray? Then first reconcile with your brother. If you look at all of this, it simply means we must have the heart of love. We must be in unity. We must be in oneness. We must be caring. We must have the love to share with others. Share love, share peace, share good news. Share evil in cash in kind. Bless those who are in need. Do not withhold from people. Don't be stingy. Bible says, cast your bread upon the waters. It will come back to you in many days. When you give, you increase in giving. And in the same measure that you have given, the Lord gives back unto you. Press down, shaking together and running over. May you overflow with the love of Christ and with the joy of the Lord even to bless others in the name of Jesus. We'll take a short break. We're going to come back to continue to look and to, and to, and to uh, uh, round off our dis this discourse. Decide to have that mind of Christ. Decide to be like Jesus. Decide to embrace the love of God, even within the, 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 the body of Christ, within that fold where the Lord has posed you. Do not give the devil a foothold. The Lord will help us to do the needful in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Live Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You're welcome back to today's daily church on Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. We have been looking together into the topic living together as genuine brethren. The Bible wants us to be together. Apostle Paul told brethren in 2 Corinthians 13 11, our memory verse. He gave them a farewell speech, said, Be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. The same message is coming to us today. Be of good comfort, beloved. Be perfect, even as a father in heaven is perfect. Be of one mind with brethren, live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you and all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We learn or we write about Ananias and Sapphira in the book of Acts chapter 5. This couple cheated on the brethren, told lies to, to, uh, to the Holy Spirit, thinking it was just to Apostle Peter. At the end of it was death. God was still frown at lying, deception, falsehood. God is calling for sincerity genuineness of heart and that's the what that's what he looks for for us to live with other people that is when love of god and the peace of god will reign that's when we shall be of one mind beloved it there like i said earlier it's possible for us to offend one another but please forgive like the bible told us and then be of good heart be good be kind-hearted and share and care for fellow brethren and the unity that we're looking at and we're talking about will automatically be in place as it was with the early apostles. They are men like us and then the church will be strengthened and God will be glorified in our midst. Beloved, I'm calling you again to the place of the love of God and the peace of the Almighty. When we do that which the Lord is asking us to do, He will be pleased with us and the church of God, even here on earth, will be strong and it will move forward. It will progress. The gates of hell shall not be able to withstand it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because where there's uni this unity and division and strife, then it means the enemy has gained a foothold and it will scatter the brethren. We shall not be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall be one with the love of Christ. One Lord one faith, one baptism. And when God shall come, may we be rapturable with him in the name of Jesus. Just want you to pray this. Say, Father, help me to love others sincerely in the name of Jesus. Without any deception, without falsehood, without malice, without bitterness, help me to love others sincerely in the name of Jesus Christ. As for that agape love, that will make you to love fellow brethren without any pretension, pretension. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, help me to love sincerely. Help me to love sincerely, Lord, even as you love others. In the name 
of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to cry again to God. I want you will have to say it. Say strong gold of falsehood in my life. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus, destroy. Whatever will make you to lie or be deceptive or, or, or pretentious, pull down that strength, strong gold of falsehood. In the name of Jesus. He said it doesn't happen. He does. Sometimes he creeps it. And then you it's like an evil sin. Don't let it germinate. Don't let it go. Put it up. Cast it up. And even when it has remained strong, we pull down that stronghold with one voice now, even with one faith, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And lastly, begin to talk to God. Help me to walk worthy of you and pleasing unto you in every way, in the name of Jesus. That's what the Lord is asking. I want to please God. You want to please God. We want to walk worthy of the Lord so that he will know truly, this is my beloved, doing my will, even here on earth. And as he behold us, even from his high heavens, he will be happy with us. He will be pleased with us. And when the Lord is pleased with us, even our enemies have no choice. They either will agree with us or they receive the divine judgment. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask the Lord, help me to do the right thing. To live according to your commands. To bring peace, love and joy to the, to the brethren. And so shall it be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name. Welcome, brethren, to another beautiful day. Go and live among fellow brethren with sincerity and genuineness. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in, your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.